what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and i just wanted to show you guys this little quad here this is called the aircraft the gesture control aircraft and i got this off amazon and this thing is pretty cool so i wanted to show you guys how this thing works and what it does this is a really awesome little beginner's quad for like little kids and all this thing can be flown without the transmitter and it can be flown with gesture control but maybe not like you're thinking, this thing actually has obstacle avoidance. So it has a really nice obstacle avoidance on it. It has it on all sides, front, back, and both sides, and even the bottom. Whenever something is waved on either side of it, it sort of avoids the object. So you can use gestures to actually get this thing to fly where you want it to fly. So if you put your hand in front of it, it'll go backwards. If you put your hand on either side, it'll go to the opposite side. And so you can just control this thing, even control the height by putting your hand underneath it to cause it to rise up. And so it flies really nice and stable. You can fly it with the transmitter and with the transmitter, it has three rates. This is our rates button right here. And this button here is the auto takeoff. This is the auto landing here. And I believe this one here is the flip button. Let me see. It doesn't press in. So this here is the flip button. All of these are trims. This is forward and backwards trim, and this is left and right trim. And it does have altitude hold, so you have a self-centering throttle on this side here. And this button here, if you press it, it does nothing. But if you hold it down, it puts you in a gesture mode or obstacle avoidance mode. And so this thing will just float around. And then if it comes near an object, it'll go the opposite way. It'll avoid it, do its best to avoid it. And I even got this thing to go down. I don't know how, but when I was flying it without the transmitter, I had it up too high and I tried to put my hand over it to get it to go down and it did go down. And so when you start this thing up, there's no on and off switch on this one, but you just plug it up and you let it sit there and it starts flashing fast when you first plug it up, waiting for the transmitter to be connected. If the transmitter is never turned on, it starts flashing slowly. At this point, you can pick this vehicle up and if you toss it, it'll start flying or you can shake it like that and it'll start flying and then you let it go. And it has altitude hold, so it's very easy to fly for a beginner. It comes with these spare props here. They only give you two though. And it comes with a screwdriver and a charging port here that goes into your USB and the other end goes into the battery. This is the battery here. It has that pH 2.0 connector or power whoop connection and it's a 300 milliamp hour battery 1s of course and i have been using the batteries from some of my other aircraft my inductrix style aircraft that have this same connector i'm able to fly this quad with those batteries the batteries are a little smaller but they do work just to show you guys one of the batteries that i've been using Whip this little guy out. This here, this came with one of the Ishin flyers, but it's 280 milliamp hours and it works pretty well with this. And so, really awesome little aircraft. The gesture control aircraft. So, let's have a look at this little aircraft. This is a gesture control aircraft. And it does come with a transmitter. So, we're going to fly it with the transmitter first. You can fly this without the transmitter. So we're going to plug it in. I'm going to set it down. And we're going to turn on the transmitter. We have to go up and then down on a stick. Then when you press up again, it starts the motors to spin it. So let's take off. Get it up to a decent height. Okay, so that's the altitude hold. Holds pretty nicely. Now, this is gesture control, but as you can see, nothing happens right now. So that feature has to be turned on, but for now, we're just going to look at the flight characteristics. And so, this is side aileron and low rate. And that's the yaw. So let's use that forward flight. That's the forward flight. 
And while we're at it, let's look at a flip. So that's the flip. It tries to return to the altitude that it was at. Okay, so now let's go up a rate. We're on second rate now. So let's look at the yaw. That's the yaw. Side aileron here. Just a little faster. Before it flying there. Mm. So let's go up another rate. This is the third rate. So side aileron. Pretty fast. Oops. That's the yaw. The yaw is pretty fast now. Before it flying, you can get a little funnel going there. Okay, so now I believe there's a hatless mode on here. Let's check it out. So it's in hatless mode now. The transmitter does beep. As you can see, I still have control of it and I'm going constant yaw. So the hatless mode works well and it holds the heading of the direction that it's facing when you activate hatless mode. And so I Turned off at this mode. Now let's look at the gesture mode. If you hold down this button here for about two seconds, and then it goes into gesture mode. And this is also an obstacle avoidance mode. So let me show you guys what happens if it's approaching a wall. Now I didn't do that, it did that on its own. So let's look at it again. And let's see it again. So it moves away from walls and whatever obstacle it's flying towards. And you can control it with your hand that way. So it's not wanting to fly against the wall. So it's coming back this way. And so let's land it. We're going to come out of that mode there, and we're going to land it. So I did the auto landing, and it landed. And so we're going to turn the transmitter off this time. I unplugged it, now I'm plugging it back up. We're going to sit it down. You're supposed to wait for the lights to start to flash slowly, as it is now. Now there's two different modes you can do. With this one, you can either toss it like this, and so now it's activated. You can make it go up even. Like there's no way to bring it back down. Oh, it came back down. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna do the final move. And that's, you can shake it to start it. To shake it, you can shake it to launch it. And same thing happens with the gesture control. So pretty nice. My kids love playing with this thing without the transmitter. It even moves diagonally. So we're gonna turn the transmitter back on. We're gonna get it in high rates. And do some flying around. Look at some more flips. Does flips in all directions. Some pretty awesome little aircraft here. Only two lights. I don't know if it'll fly nicely in the dark. Let's check it out in the dark before the battery dies. So it's not really that visible. But you can see them, I guess. Probably not a great light. Probably not a great night flyer. And it's flashing, it lands on its own, so we're just gonna 
watch it land on its own once the battery is expended. Let me turn the light back on. So we're just going to watch it float around. Hover. And it looks like it's about to go down. Okay, now it's landing. And so that's it. That's the flight time you get with it. Pretty awesome little aircraft. The gesture control aircraft. Thanks for watching.